Good afternoon all. This was supposed to be a live broadcast, but no, that's not happening today. Therefore, I've chosen to just record as a video. Not my usual style, but hey. Look at this. Ford Orion. So this was actually the second car that I ever owned. I had a D-Reg one, so 1.6 injection gear. Also this. It's got the optional fuel computer in it as well, which is there. Electric mirrors, electric windows, and so on. 1.6 CVH injection. <sighs> Rather fancy Zodiac here. E-Type Jag. And in case you're wondering where we are, we're at Hutton in the Forest. And this is, I think it's called Classic Cars in the Park or some such thing. This is a Jag with an XK engine. My nice word. Got a Hunter there, Jensen, Rover 75. And there's lots of vehicles here, there really is. And that's the thing about any kind of meat up in the lakes you can get anything from say a 1930s Lancia through to the Suzuki Jimny which believe it or not is actually one of the cars on show today well it's not the kind of thing you get hold of anymore weirdly but Capri's XL3 eyes interesting looking Land Rovers as well so let's delve a bit deeper like a 1275. Okay. Not to worry. RS1600i. But if you start getting sport into, like, clubs, Capri as well. Uh, you're with a club group and uh, there's no, not many of these about. You, you need to sell a Scorpio. Um, um, self distance four, is it? and also you need to wear a wear a mask where possible. Mm -hmm. As you go down to the hall, because the hall itself is open now until three o'clock this afternoon, you can book in there and um, have a tour I remember when the these were released and also you get the opportunity Big, to plush, go around the gardens seats. and the woodlands if you you so always wish a vehicle that uh, but always understand that the wall garden me. is absolutely fantastic and uh, well worth a visit as is the hall uh, because the hall has been in the same family now for um well over 400 years and um, for console and then a granada and when they're next to each other, actually in residence today. Kind of see the difference, actually. About three o'clock. Um, Vinyl roof. Uh, you just love it. Try and stags. Beetle. Talbot Solara, maybe. A Volkswagen Beetle. Little MX5. MG. TF early one back, look at this. And there's a Mark II at the back as well, a Golf. Ooh, Rover 800. I wonder if it's a Sterling. It is. Lovely interior on these. It's nice to see one in good nick, to be honest. And yes, the Rover SD1. I could say what that Rover is, but the likelihood is I'll get it wrong, so I won't. That's an REO at the back, which is 1929. Riley. Mark 1 MR2, Paul Cortina, and a Mustang. So let's go back to the top. I was right, it's Solara. My old friends used to have one of those. Yeah, 
If we move down here, E36 M3 Nevo as well. you'll like this mat. No, I do approve of that. Triumph Club here as well, so various Triumphs and most of these looks like literally works of art. Oh, you're there. Well, we're not looking for you. Right, I'm just, I'm filming a video. Hmm? So, Morris Minor. <laughs> Mark II Escorts. And there's that 309 Goodwood that we saw at Ray the other day. It is the same car as well. Two Goodwoods in a literally two. And Three days. Sure that we can be, uh, oh, purists beware. Uh, Red top double over a cam, 16 uh, valve, in a Mark II Escort. Not what you expect to see. Um, so please, please, folks, respect your own. Um, now the window's down. It wasn't down at Ray the other day, so. Make sure that you stay and there's not many 309 Goodwoods around. When I was growing up. There used to be one that knocked around Halton and it also had a Mark III Escort called Mellow Yellow that used to knock around with it and there were two fantastic cars that just stood out. E30s. Can't tell if that's a Cosworth or a Sapphire 2 litre GLS. Something classic travelling. Bentley, maybe? But I don't actually know. Nice Jag. MG, yep, an early TF. Yeah, the thing about this show is they just mix and match all the vehicles. Mullin apart, what silver shadow? Ooh. Beautiful cars. Mind you, that's what Coach felt was like. There's a lot of RS 2000s around here. TR8. On the Civic. And look, facelift W124 as well. Next to a TVR. Next to two TVRs. <sighs> Retro Saab, my word, that takes me back. Early Capri as well. Rover 75, classic range, organ, Lotus Alan. Looks like a Triumph Herald over there pulling out. Alpha GTV6, another Morgan, a rather clean Beetle, 1970s, 1300. Not particularly standard. Ironically, I've got a concertina roof wrap that would really suit that sat in the garage. Okay. Another TVR. You can tell we're just down the road from Blackpool, can't you? 
and Ford Thunderbird. Look at that for a colour scheme. The styling on this. It's just things like this little window. Peugeot 205, 1.6 GTI. I thought I'd see Mark, more Mark II Golfs, to be honest, and just isn't. Mini Cooper. So that's probably a 1.3 injection. R129. So this is actually built in the same chassis as Dorothy, which is the C124, otherwise known as the W124. This will have a slightly bigger engine than Dorothy though. Debadged on the back. And this 280, yes, this just makes our Mercedes look extremely modern. Period color as well. It's been, yeah, I'd say cleaned up interior, but it's original style, definitely. Beautiful colour. And the guy that we've attended the event with today actually had one of these for a fair few years and he regrets selling it. Mind you, he's still got his own collection of Mercs still, but just not one of these. There's a full story on this here. And it's got a Becker unit in it, unlike any of the Mercs I've ever owned. For some reason, you seem to take Becker units out. Don't get it. Some Jags. Something interesting there. Answers on the postcard. An XJ6. An S2000. Now, we've got one of these from Honda in the coming months, I think, after July. So we'll have their heritage car. But this has got an interesting paint job on. Fiesta, Mustang, Porsche, 911 Carrera, Mark 1 Astra GTE. It's Triumph Dolomite, the early Rover, MGTF, Mercury Grand Marquis. Yeah, unless that's a Grand Marquis. E30, another one for Matt. An Alpine. I've seen one of those before. Fudge Viper. More R129s. Straight six, 24 valve. Not a clue, debatched. So, yeah, as I mentioned, this is actually built on the chassis of the car that we own, which is the W124. And you can kind of tell when you look at them. And it makes the SL look wide. Different headlamps as well, but you can actually put these bonnets on the W124. Have Herald, little MG. Minis, ooh, Subaru. Injection Capri, what is it? Two litre or 2.8? I'd say not. Pepper Pots as well. I've not seen Pepper Pots on one of those for years. Little MG, BGD, GT, can't speak. And there you go, the Jimny. Always a pleasure to see Cavalier SRI 130. Now those could shift back in the day. Yeah, there's a cornucopia of cars here, there really is. It's quite hard to work out where the show begins and where the car park ends, to be honest. More 
little MGs. Early escorts as well, so we've got Mark 1. That does not look standard. Looks like it's got forest arches or some such thing as well, so RS2000, but far from that by the looks of it. Mexico, I would say. Oh, it's a 2000 as well. Willie's Jeep. Two litre Granada. See some 205s there. There's also a Maestro and I think there's a Maestro Turbo, maybe that green one. Ooh. An early Celica, 1600 Coupe ST. 70s. I do like this. Like a pillarless coupe style as well. <sighs> that is very cool. Oh yeah. Early JDM. Can't beat it. Porsche 924, 944, one of them. Look like some track cars, 19 GTI. And what's this? 1789. That could be a 1.9 as well then. Early Maestro, little MG, and yeah, it's a turbo diesel actually, so it isn't EFI turbo. I doubt you'll all appreciate the Austin Rover mug as well. Maestro Montego bag, all types of cool things you've got the cars. RS2000. Riley as well. Just look at the colours. Riley. Nope, can't read that. Ah, here we are. The MG Maestro. You had seen them. And here's the turbo. Lovely colour as well. Now oh, these were rapid back in the day. One used to live near Crag Bank and it used to be bombing up and down the road like a rocket. Two litre fuel injected turbocharged. It's a good nick as well. A spider. I see 30 there. Retro Audi. About three or four years ago, I went up to Carlisle to a B&Q and this was parked in the car park. And when I saw the gent drive in, which is actually the guy walking towards it now, he still owns it. <laughs> So, it's nice to see he's kept hold of it. Fantastic. Now last time I saw it up at Carlisle, I, was, I wasn't, I don't even think I was doing car videos or any car content. I just saw it and it stood out a mile because it's quite late 1920s and it just, it's not what you expect to see sat in a B&Q. It just isn't. So it's nice to see it again after like three or four years. It really is. 